Item Number SCP-808-J Object Class Kitar Special Containment Procedures SCP-808-J is to be kept in a locked wooden chest buried deep beneath the sands of an isle far away. To get to the fortune that awaits, you must take twenty paces east past the forked tree, then thirty paces north from the swift stream. It's buried beneath an X in the sand, but only the most courageous of all men dare to disturb old Captain Blue's last treasure. Some say to this day, his ghost still haunts the island, waiting for unlikely men to try and take his precious booty. Then he snatches it up, then they ne'er is seen again. Sailing to the isles that hold the lost booty is an adventure itself. Its location can only be found on a map, contained within Davy Jones Containment Locker 808-J on Ship 19. The island is surrounded by reefs and rocks that only the most experienced seamen can navigate, else he crashes it in in the deep blue. Captains are not to bring women aboard the ship. Even never seen before beauties can bring only the worst of luck. Men that learn the location of the island without permission from O5-R are to walk the plank. Dead men tell no tales. In order to survive the long haul, captains are to bring many fruits aboard to be saved even the scurviest of dogs. Description: SCP-808-J is a treasure long lost from the knowledge of your everyday landlubber. Only legends tell of its existence, a vast fortune hidden away by the great sight Captain Blue many years ago. It's said that he who finds the treasure may be the richest man to sail the seven seas. Addendum 808-J-1 Audio Log 808-1 Interviewed Sight Captain Redbeard Interviewer Polly Forward Sight Captain Redbeard informed his dearest friend of his voyage into the sea surrounded Blue's Isle. Squawk? R Squawk? R R Squawk? R Polly want a cracker. Aye, it was the most brutal voyage I have ever set out upon. Polly want a cracker. Me own crew was apprehensive as we sailed into the fog surrounding the island. You could tell old Blue's ghost was haunting those shores. Haunting those shores, Squawk. I was shivering in me timbers as we finally navigated the rocks and boarded onto the island. The air was thick with devilry, and I looked back to see me Jolly Roger disappearing into the mist. Into the mist, Squawk. Aye, bucko. I was scared. Me first mate was spotting for me, of course. He told me how not even he could see three feet from his face through the damnable fog, and we all grabbed on each other's hooks and went in single file into the dense jungle of the island. Squawk? Yes, Polly me beauty. We passed by those trees in the swift creek until we finally came to the X. Then we all dug until we hit something. Squawk? Polly want a cracker? No, Polly. It wasn't pieces of wheat, or even gold doubloons. It was caskets of the Devil's Liquid and… Devil's Liquid? Aye. Bottles and bottles of rum. Squawk. Closing Statement. R.